You're watching Black and Gold Today. It's been all good in the hood in recent memory when the Steelers meet the Browns, but how can we forget this train wreck to open the season September 10th, 1989? Bud Carson's Cleveland Browns came to Three River Stadium and handed Pittsburgh its worst loss ever, 51 to nothing. Incredibly enough, Chuck Knoll's Steelers would lose to Cincinnati the following week, 41 to 10. And needless to say, no one's expecting that to happen this time around, Mike, although it took everything in my power and one of our producers' powers, Kent Urbanski, to get you to agree to let this video air on Black and Gold today, and I can tell you that you're still not okay with it. I was there. It was painful, <laughs> but don't take it out on the messenger. <laughs> Enough about uh, that situation. It's time to hear what you think in a weekly segment we call Fan Sound Off. Here we go, Steelers. Here we go. Hey, game one against the Cleveland Browns. Uh, it's a AFC uh, North uh, division game. Anything can happen. We got to be on our toes. We got to be ready to play. I guarantee we're not playing the same Cleveland Browns that we played in the past few years. They're coming out this year. They're going to win some games, but they're not going to win the first one. I've been a Pittsburgh Steelers fan probably since 2004. They drafted Ben Roethlisberger. Um, I didn't know much about the team, didn't know much about anybody really, and I just uh, started to pick a football team. I was young. Um, I'm only 24. I was young, so I just took a liking to the Pittsburgh Steelers, and ever since then, man, I'm a diehard Pittsburgh fan. What I love about the Steelers is the fact that we are a team. We don't depend on one player. Everybody gels together, and, and everybody works together, and because we have the best fan base in the entire world. I think the defense has been proven year by year uh, once they decide to go young, and the offense has always been great, so it, it'd be interesting to see what the we got younger group of receivers now with not quite as much experience as we've had in the past, but but uh, these guys have shown that they can play, and so I always like to watch the receivers. It's, that's the that's my bread and butter. So I watch those guys all the time. And we all know AB is incredible, and I love the way Juju is playing. You know why he likes the wide receivers? That was former Steelers wideout Ernie Mills. If we didn't get to you on this week's fan sound off, you can always visit our Black and Gold Today Facebook or Twitter page. Let us know what you think of the show, a player, the team your chance to sound off anytime, day or night. And speaking of the fans, whether or not you actually enjoy watching football, there are always other ways to get involved. One of the most popular ways, of course, is fantasy football. A game that origin dates back to the early 60s, believe it or not, but just continues to increase in popularity throughout the nation, even the world. We stopped by the flagship footballers draft to find out how they managed to root on their team and their fantasy team all at the same time. You always think the guy on your team's a little bit better than he is. So a guy might be middle of the road, but because he's on your team, you think that he's got a chance to be in that top tier. And of course, it's always fun to try to pick someone from your team that you are going to watch every week and kind of give you that little boost. I'll go out of my way to not draft Steelers only because then I don't uh, uh, I don't feel bad if they let me down. Uh, but uh, no, you know, it's uh, uh, on Sunday at one o'clock when the Steelers are playing. I don't really don't pay attention to a whole lot else, but it's the four o'clock game and the Thursday night game and the Sunday night game in the Monday night game and you got football like five nights a week so it's uh, you, you know it gives you something to watch we're anything but experts Mike I used to calculate my points out of the paper on Monday mornings those days are long gone who are our fantasy football locks of the week we've got Ben Roethlisberger Antonio Brown Juju Smith Schuster and the Steelers defense Ben's been so good against the Browns in his career with Le'Veon Bell missing all camp bet on the air attack leading the way and for that defense to get after Tyrod Taylor. So there you go, just about ready for week one. Of course, next week we'll break down highlights from week one, get you ready for the home opener against the Kansas City Chiefs. But before we go, it's time to check out our picks. Each week we'll predict the winner of that week's game and our score, and whoever's closest to the spread will get a terrible towel. A little friendly competition. I already own a terrible towel, Craig. All right, let's check out those picks. I had the Browns winning, 20, uh, the Steelers winning 29-17. Fenner with the Steelers 24-16. Gallagher, Pittsburgh 35-31. Tune in next week to find out how we did. That's our first edition of Black and Gold today. For everybody here, thanks for watching. Enjoy the game. Thanks for watching. Join us next week for another edition of Black and Gold today.